Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for waiting. Welcome to another live session, uh, live series of Sash Factor, and I am Carl Capellan, your host for today. I am very thrilled and excited to present to you the winners of the recently concluded and very successful Miss Philippines Earth 2021. We are joined by the new queen and her elemental queens as well. So without further ado, I present to you our 2021 Miss Philippines Earth Queens. Good afternoon, Queens. Thank you for joining. And uh, before we start, on behalf of Smash Factor, we would like to congratulate everyone. Good job. We're so proud of you. And uh, we are very happy and thankful that you've gone out of your way to join us this afternoon. Apologies for the technical difficulties earlier, but the show must go on. And I thank you, God Girls, for, for being such a good sport. Before we begin, um, and before I ask questions, let's do it this way. I would like you to, uh, I would call on your names and I would like you to present yourselves with your official titles. All right, are we good? All right. Okay, so shall we begin with Sophia? All right, good afternoon, Sash Factor viewers. This is Sophia Lopez Galvez, your newly crowned Miss Philippines Ecotourism 2021. Thank you. Sarap pakinggan. Thank you so much. Let's move on to Roselle. Queen Roselle. Hello, everyone. I am Roselle Angela Sangana. Your Miss Philippines Earth Water 2021. Thank you so much. And when I say I love your background, let's move on to Queen Ronnie. Hi everyone, I'm Ronnie Vanessa, your Miss Inspired 2021. Thank you so much. Moving on to Queen Amira. Hi everyone, I am Amira Almamari, your Miss Philippines Air 2021. And of course, the Queen of Queens, Queen Nela. Mabu, hi everybody. My name is Nayla Sherbaji. I'm your Miss Philippines Earth 2021. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are your new queens for 2021 for Miss Philippines Earth. Should you have questions, please do post that in the chat room and we will ask them later as well. Also, please take note that this is broadcasted live in both Sash Factor YouTube and uh, uh, Facebook accounts. So before we start, my question to everyone is, girls, ano, nakatulog na ba kayo? Let's start with Roselle. Nakatulog ka na ba? Have you, nakatulog ka na? Have you slept? Actually, I haven't had the full 8 hour or 6 hour sleep yet. But I did nap kanina, so that's good. And siguro, I, I think I'll bawi naman in the, in, in the future days. <laughs> okay. All right. How about Queen Sophia? Queen Sophia, ano nakakain ka na ba? I relate with Russell. Hindi pa talaga ako nakakabuo ng gulo, but I exchanged my lunch kanina uh, for nap, for nap time. So, medyo fulfilling naman kahit medyo gulo na ako ngayon. All right. Thank you. How about Queen Ronnie? Queen Ronnie, kamusta ka naman? Okay naman. Busog ako, kaya medyo gulo Yep. Kung yung mata ko bumabagsak, I'm sorry, pero nandito ako, present ako, promise. Hindi <laughs> ko lang ako sigilin. Okay lang yan, laban lang. Laban lang, Queen. How about Queen Amira? I, I'm i doing fine, actually, pero hindi rin ako nakabuo ng sleep kasi we had a guesting early in the morning kanina and my eyes are quite irritated then. So if I blink a lot, alam niyo na yun. <laughs> Alright. And finally, Queen Nela. I relate Have to all the yet? girls. Yeah, I relate to all the girls. I wasn't able to get some eight hours sleep, not even half of it, but I did take a nap and I'm still excited to be here and I'm going to give you my 100% energy regardless. 
I love it. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Um, so hopefully you'll, you'll find this this session. Um, you'll enjoy the session. Para sulit naman yung puyat nyo. My next question to you is: Did did winning the crown or your respective crowns already sink in? Let's start with Unela. Nag sink in na ba? Slowly. I literally just got my sash and crown maybe an hour ago. So finally, I have something tangible to so show me that is real. So yes, it's slowly sinking in. Not completely, but hopefully in the next few days it will. All right. Thank you. How about Queen Ronnie? Queen Ronnie, how about you? Nag sink in na ba? Uh, not so much. Same with me. I actually got my sash um, just a few hours ago, but Hindi pa masyado. I'm still in shock and I don't know, nakakagura pa rin talaga na tapos na yung um, buong Miss Philippines Earth na journey, yung coronation natin. Hindi pa. <laughs> How did it feel, um, Queen Roselle, um, for you? Nag-sync in na ba? And did you already get your sash as well? Hindi pa rin kung kikisi mo sa other girls. And I haven't done my sash yet and crack kasi nandito pa rin ako sa Ilo-Dilo. So hopefully, maybe next week nandito na sa akin and we can have a group photo with the other girls. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, I wish that you would get your crown and your sash as soon as possible time. How about Queen Sofia? How about you? Yes, same as Rizal. Eh. Uh, I think tomorrow ipapadali sa amin. So I think it's slowly sinking in, especially because we're getting a lot of messages of congratulations. So yeah, we're getting there. All right. And finally, Queen Amira, um, I think in the back. I think we're all on the same page. We're slowly getting there. And this sash, it literally came as in like before tayo mag live, 30 second countdown. So I'm getting there. All right. I'm very happy to see the sashes on our Queen Nela and Queen Namira, and I really look forward for the rest of the ladies for you to get yours or your respective sash sashes as well. Um, for for the benefit of our audience, could you, um, Queen Queen Nela and Queen Queen Namira, could you flash your your sash for for, for everyone to see? All right. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Now. I know that for the longest time you have been dieting because of course you have to be camera ready and pageant ready for, for the pasarela and for the swimsuit. My question to you is now that the pageant is over, what food that you miss eating would you binge on? Let's start with uh, Queen Amira. So ano yung pagkain na mismo na magbibinge eating ka na kasi tapos na yung pageant? Actually, my I didn't diet talaga kasi it's only rice that makes me bloat, lalo na my stomach. Pero now, free na ako kumain ng as many cups of, of rice as I want. So, love that for me. Sana all hindi tumataba ng bongga, di ba? <laughs> all right. I envy you. How about um, Queen Sophia? So, how about you? What do you look forward to eating? Or binge or or buffeting on as soon as possible. I actually miss the you remember Manila na pint ice cream, the mango ice cream. I really love that. I would probably get one later today. But same as I used to say with Amira, I didn't really diet during the competition because I'm I am a little bit anemic. So I cannot really function without rice. Uh, I, na hulo pag walang kanin eh. So I can relate. Diba? How about you, Queen Roselle? So what do you look forward um munching on or binge eating on now that the pageant is over? Ako at the start of the pageant na ako nag kind of diet. Tapos dahil ang daming segments para nag-stress it ako. So <laughs> nawala yung diet. Pero ako uh, Siguro I would be munching on what I mentioned yesterday, kare kare, kasi paborit ko talaga. <laughs> wow, kare kare, ano? Kare kare gulay, kare kare baka. What do you like? Because I love kare kare too. Honestly, any kind of kare kare, especially when you pair it with bagoong, the best. Oh yes, <laughs> spicy bag spicy bagoong is the best. Oh my god, nakatuto. <laughs> um, how about you, Queen Queen Run? <laughs> 
Um, yeah, na ako ng diet. Nakasaway ako. Kahit sinasabihan nila ako ng papayas pa ako. <laughs> so, ano ba? Pero ako, ito ang kainin ngayon. Ito ng pizza. Pwede ko ngayon kung makukos na isang box ng pizza ngayon. <laughs> All right, and of course, our queen Nila. So, what, what, or what's in the possible time? Well, actually, after I won, I had a buffet, so I did eat everything I wanted to eat as, as well as pizza. But if I could eat something right now, it would be K-pop because I miss you know the, oh. the action of eating all of that. Oh my god, I miss it yeah. so much. So, K-pop, kung nakikinig ka ngayon kayo ngayon, baka naman, sponsor na kayo <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I was watching the, the pageant earlier, and I was, um, syempre yung mga, yung, when, when Robbie mentioned to you your respective crowns, your, your reactions were really organic, na parang you were really surprised, happy, ecstatic. Especially for, for I believe for Queen Rosella, my special participation by your momo, which is very touching. So I would like to ask everyone, take us back to that particular time where you were given your respective titles and what was on your mind during that time? Let's begin with uh, Queen Rosella. Yeah, so I think it was really organic your reactions because we didn't expect that it was already top five. We knew it was something good, but we didn't know that we were going to be given our respective titles already. So when I was told that I was looking for the water, I froze. I opened my mouth and I was so shocked. And then I was just filled with so much gratitude that I had to thank my team and then my mom who was there. So if you know this, you can react and kind of tilt it off because my cameraman kind of slipped. <laughs> so I uh, my mom was uh, running towards me. She was so hesitant at first because 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 she so mom of the year award goes to your mom. Right? Diba? Would you guys agree? Diba? My special participation on yeah. mom ni Queen Rose. Ang Queen Mom ni Queen Rose. How about Queen Sophia? So take us back to the time that you were given your title. How did you feel? How was it? So at first I was confused. That was my hello panic because uh, I was just suddenly um let into the room. So oh, I didn't notice at all. I, I just looked at my laptop and the Zoom was there already. And I was I was um, gesturing to all of the people in the room. Quiet, quiet. Something is happening. And then my video team was panicking as well. So my camera was, I think, was moving a lot. And me had a shadow pang ng hand at some point during uh, the announcement. It was really shocking. That's why the reactions that you saw were really organic. I'm just very thankful that the word ecotourism is a little bit longer than the other titles because if I missed it, if it wasn't that long, I would have missed what Robbie was saying that he was actually announcing our title. So I am thankful for that because I, I had a second to process it. All right, thank you. How about Queen Ronnie? So how was it like? Take us back to the point when you when you were given your title. I feel like my experience it was I feel like it was very awkward because yung nga, hindi namin alam na announcement na pala ng winners. And when Robbie mentioned na ako ay yung inspired, um nagulat ako pero mas nagulat ako kasi hindi nag-react yung mga kasama ko sa room. So, so parang nag, nag, dalawang isip ako na, tama ko merinig ko, or hindi ba tayo masaya sa nangyayari, what's happening? Kasi lahat sila parang tulala lang, tas quiet lang, so parang, okay, what's happening? And then after that, parang hindi ko na maalala kung ano yung nangyayari, I don't remember seeing Robbie or kasi nyo na dun sa Zoom. It was so weird, it was a weird experience. Alright, thank you. How about Queen Amira, take us back to the point when you, when you won, when you were given your respective time. Yeah, and so I, I was really clueless because um, the process was really vague. We weren't announced of the top 20, just the top 10. And then after the Q&A, we were told to stand by. So I thought we were an gonna answer another Q&A. So I was dancing lang while the Zoom was on hold. 
I was dancing backstage and then my team members were playing loud music. And after this, Hopi reminded me of this. Na biglang nagloading yung Zoom. Sabi ko, huy huy, tama na tama na ganon. And then after that, Robby announced that I was Miss Philippines Air. And then it was super quiet on my end. It was so awkward then because no one expected the announcement. But after exiting the Zoom call, I cried na and I said thank you to my whole team. And it was such a great night for me. I, I wasn't able to sleep actually. Sorry. Fair and fair, it's not that you don't have any help. I hope all. Concealer. Right? And finally, of course, Queen Nela. So take this back to the point where you were announced as the, the top winner or the top club. I was utterly dumbfounded with the moment. I could not really process it completely. If you saw my reaction, I was sobbing because I really didn't think that yeah. it was going to happen. I was getting ready and preparing for the next Q&A for top five. So when I was standing there, they were asking me if I was ready. I was like, yes. In my head, I was like, I'm ready for the question. And they said, you're Miss Earth 2021. So that's why if you hear me, I'm covering my mouth and I'm saying, are you serious? I'm mumbling because I can't seem to formulate any words to say because I didn't, I didn't prepare for that moment. So it's very shocking. All right. Okay. Now that you are officially winners, I could imagine that people around you, your support system, your immediate family is very ecstatic for for the lack of a better term. I would just like to ask, so how are your DMs looking right now? Are you being flooded by DMs? Let's start with Ronnie, with Queen Ronnie. Sobra. Um, until now, ang dami ko pang hindi nasasagot. And as much as I want to answer each um, each and one of them, ang hirap pa kasi. Tapos ang dami ko namin interview, so we don't really have the time to go through everything yet. But yeah, I am beyond grateful for all the messages that I have been using. Alright, terrific. How about Queen Roselle? So how's your Facebook or um, Instagram messenger right now? Yeah, I'm not used to this much attention, but I'm taking it little by little because uh, there's a lot of thank yous, a lot of congratulations, and I wish that I could uh, reply to everyone as soon as I could, but with all the interviews, hopefully very soon. <laughs> all right. How about Queen Sophia? Come on, Hi, yeah, for the first few hours after no uh, coronation yesterday, my phone kept crashing. Actually, that's kept crashing. So Facebook, Instagram, Messenger kept crashing on me when I tried to open them. So I okay, I'm just not gonna open them for a while. Um, right now I have a lot of messages that I need to tend to. But yeah, because of the interviews, we don't really have the time yet. So let me thank everyone who has congratulated me so far. Thank you so much for your messages. All right. Queen Amira, how about you? Paint us a picture and how how your DMs are looking like right now. Or prior. I'm actually very overwhelmed because whenever I scroll through my messenger, as in, hindi siya nag end yung mga unread messages. Also with my Instagram, tag posts, comments, and I wasn't even able to post a thank you message yet because of all the interviews from the day itself. So hopefully I'd be able to get through that. Um it's a little schedule, but I'm really, really thankful. Talaga. All right. Thank you. And of course, Queen Nela, how about you? Me as well as all the other girls. Yeah, I have a lot of pending messages that I haven't gotten back to. I've been trying to reply to them between all these interviews, and I haven't been able to make a dent. So hopefully, if anybody who congratulated me is watching, I just want to thank you, and I appreciate your messages. I'll get back to everyone as soon as possible. All right. Now that we are talking about um, congratulatory messages, um, messages of, of uh, yeah, congratulatory messages, um, I'll give you this time individually to, to thank everyone who rallied behind you uh, through this journey. If you have a list with you, if you have a cheat sheet, girls, you're ready you because I will allow you to read those read off on those lists para mapasalamatan nyo lahat ng pwede kong pasalaman. Let's begin. Sinong ready? Sinong ready? Tasang kamay. 
Uy, Nela, yung uli kita ha. Siyempre, winner ka eh. <laughs> Um, let's see the red. Oh, si Miss Coates. Yes. Nag-ask Queen Namira. Queen Namira, since you're ready, yes. the floor is yours. Okay, um, so first, I'd like to thank, of course, my Timonanes, Kedonias, and whoever supports me from all over the Philippines, thank you very, very much for the congratulatory messages. But more specifically, I would like to thank, of course, our municipal mayor, Mayor Tipoy Mendoza. Thank you, thank you very much. To Mayora, to Congresswoman Angelina Tan, to Attorney Mike Tan, to R.D. Ronel Tan, to Zenaida Baranga, S.B. Atimona, and to Atimona, Preo and Tourism staff, and my Atimona, of course. Converge Atimona for our Wi-Fi, and our designers, Roy Aquino, Athena Solen Barreto, Richard Roque, Richard Lupango for styling me, Chico Estiva, Sir Aero James of Mopoli, Rob Bombani and Tito Gary Rosses, Kuya Ace and Tito Jojo Alidio, Sir Aaron Makaraig, um, who else? Kaya Familia, of course, Tito Rod, Tito Jet, Kuya Means, Mommy Duro, Sir Nathan, Queen Shane, Queen Gianna, and Queen Rock, Carousel Productions, my MPE sisters, Mama LJ for my makeup, Kuya Edwell for my hair, Kuya Brian and Kuya Joko for assisting me, and RL Decor and the Visit Stylist for my backdrop. Thank you very much, everyone. All right. Thank you so much, Queen Amira. Uh, Queen Sophia, are you ready? Yep. All right. It's your turn. All right. First of all, I would like to thank my family, of course. Mama, Papa, Bunso, thank you so much for being with me since day one of my pageant journey. And uh, of course, thank you so much to my very support boyfriend, Josh. Na talagang driver ko anywhere and everywhere. Of course, to our business partner as well, Edson, for driving as well. And of of course, to um, Sophia Angels, headed by my, uh, my head admin at Itintin Tiempo. Thank you so much for your support. Of course, thank you so much to um, my key familia, Tito Rogel, Tito Jess, thank you so much for your guidance. Tito Jace and Miss Gem as well for training me. And of course, thank you so much to Team Tanay, headed by our um, LGU Tourism uh, Department head, Sir Jantino. And of course, to Sir Henry Reyes, my coordinator for my venues. Thank you so much to all of um, my designers, uh, Kuya Ali Balanin Hedges, uh, Salis Limon Bati. Thank you so much to Stylist, uh, Trish Ariman. Thank you to Summer Lights Photography, Kuya Mark Raymond, and to all of the assistants there in Pipanay. Of course, to our municipality, to Mayor R.M. Tanwatko, thank you so much for your uh, support and generosity as well. Thank you so much to my barangay captain, Captain Antonio Bolaños, and to the head of the IPMR or the head of the Dumagdads in our barangay, uh, Pastor Romar Anito and his lovely wife, uh, Ate Janice Anito. Thank you so much for welcoming us to your tribe and making me feel like I'm part of your family. And of course, thank you so much to my core team, my handlers, T. Alvin and Mami Shai. T. Alvin is also my designer in um, the main segments of this competition. So thank you so much, T. Alvin, for um, for your creation since 2017, actually. And thank you so much to Mami Shai for my makeup. Um, and thank you as well to Kay, my hairstylist, and and it up. To my production team, Mirror Studios Incorporated, and handed by Therese Balabo and Maggie Lirio. Thank you thanks so much for your wonderful videos. And thank you so much to Dior and Buena Dental Clinic for my smile. And thank you so much to Etiquette Kit Melo for being a stylist as well. And to Sir Josh Austria of uh, Village People Magazine. As well as to my past queen sisters from Mrs. and Philippines. Thank you so much, especially uh, Solar Queen Justin Ortega, who was actually part of last year's batch of MPE. And thank you as well to the people who started it all at Team Medalia, at the Jessa Bumatay, and at the Cindy. Thank you so much from Team Jessa. And I think that's it. Thank you so much, everyone, to all of my supporters. All right, you're welcome. Miss um, Queen Roselle, it's about it's it's your turn. So it's your it's your time to thank the people who rallied behind. 
All right, so first and foremost, I'd like to thank my family, my mama, my papa, my kuya, my mamu, my three dogs, and of course, my friends, my extended family, the Inkubumita family, Tita Elaine, Elijah, and all my friends, Jessica, JB, all of my machines, and of course, my people's and pizzas who extended their help, even though they're far away from me, and of course, my insult family for their constant support and their uh, support for my advocacy. My team, Himatu Production, Madam Kat, and Nong Richard, the Empire Queens for my walk, my makeup, and for my training, and of course, to the K Familia, the Garage, thank you so much. I'd also like to thank my sponsors, Detective Andorinao, Buhay Armitanio, Okina Project, Bigamo, GP Positivity, Ligonets, Kunugdong Restaurant, Kilo Burger, Owens Only Sigo Cafe, Batayan Cafe, Said Said Hot, Sushi Mama, Taco Taco, Takoyumi, Ilo Ilo TT, Thrifty, Chef Clark Nunyeza, Jing Jinon, Judy and Juan Trevino, Ryan Rivera, Teresa Tayona. And of course, to Kali X Ilo Ilo, to Honorable Jerry P. Trenias, Honorable Joy and Jam Jam Baronda, Honorable Jojo Jaen, Honorable Matt P. Palabrica, Honorable Mike Gorisiata, Miss Maha Bautista, Miss Mabel Hiroche, Mr. Rich Hiroche, and Miss Trisha Samantha. And of course, for the venues that were uh, shot for my segments, um, to Black Battalion Farm in Lambuna, Iloilo, Sitsko, Delgado Animal Day Care and Rescue Center, Emilia Swarm, Edward Malate Studio, Mr. Bok, Iloilo, Jerusalem Northbound Terminal, Richmond Hotel, Infinity Haven Gimbal Iloilo, Sea Garden Resort, Carmela Desenia, and Natalie Lin. And special thanks to the municipality of Cabatuan Iloilo. I can't wait to see you all again. To the municipality of Cabatuan Indigenous Peoples Community, municipality of Leganas Iloilo, municipality of Pabia Iloilo, Barangay Nabitasan La Paz, and to Honorable Arthur Defensor Jr., Honorable Bombat Gales Marin, Honorable John Jesner P. Punsaran. Uh, hi, Sir Jesner. Thank you so much. I miss you. And Honorable Jun Jun Jaen. Uh, Honorable Ronilio Crespe. Honorable Rowena Sumagaysay. Sir Gary Bibanco. Sir Noel Mondejar. Sir Juan Alonde. Sir Rafi Ataas. Thank you for the gown, Sir Rafi. It was so beautiful. Sir Adolfo, Adolfo D. Ahaen III. Dr. Ruru, Dr. Lani Castaños, and of course to my sparring partners, Alistar Galarda, Carmela Rodrigo, Charlene Eman Gallo, Koy Salda, Len Ray Dumagain, Irish Roche, J. Palmares, G. Basuntin, Hermel Puno, Joshua Enriquez for my, fo my photos, Kevin Espel, Keisha Ramachandran, Line Bell Salvatico, Stephanie Vival Vicencio, Sarah Mercado and family, and Dumana Gina J. Chu, who was our last year's representative for Miss Philippines Earth. Thank you so much to all of you. I have so much love and gratitude. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> now let's move on to Queen Romani. It's your turn. Medyo mahaba rin ata yung sa akin. Okay lang uh, yan. Okay, okay lang. <laughs> Okay, so um, thank you to everyone who supported me since day one. Of course, my family, Meneses fam, Viva's family, I love you guys so much. To my team, Sir Jace, Miss Jem, Peter Roach, and the whole KF family, uh, Mamshi JR, Mamshi Valerie, my cousins, Marco and Mika, thank you. Dahil, kung hindi dahil sa inyo, baka hindi ko kinaya tong Miss Philippines Earth. Kuya Brian, Tito Elvin, Ati Bet, Leo, Dora, Tito Edwin, Tito Frankie, my HD family, Mashup Squad, thank you so much. And ito, uh, thank you for um, sharing and liking and for all the support that you have given me. Bayan ng Bulacan Bulacan, Mayor Verhel Meneses, um, that's my dad. <laughs> Hi pa. Um, Bayan ng Baliwa, Mayor Ferdy Australia, Bayan ng Giginto, Mayor Boy Australia, Bustos, Mayor School Juan Obando, Mayor Edwin Santos, San Miguel, Mayor Roderick Tiongson, Kalumpit, Mayor Jesse De Jesus, Malolos, Mayor Bebong Gachalian, Claridel, Mayor Tessie Vestan, uh, Mayor Christian Natividad, Tito Ernie Esguera, Tito Al Francis Chua, and Boss RSA, thank you po. And sa Mandaluyong City at saka sa lahat ng mga Mandalenyong sumuporta sa akin, maraming salamat po. And of course, thank you Lord for always blessing me with your grace. Not so All long right. pala. 
It's okay. Um, I I had a feeling. I wanted to ask you how are you related with for helmet essays? And, and you mentioned <laughs> that he's your dad because yes. I'm I'm a nineties nineties kid, so yung mga panahon ng sakit, yung mga panahon na galaro sa, so, alam ko yan. <laughs> All right. Um, how about Queen Nila? Queen is Queen Nila available? Okay. So, baka may internet connection siya. Um, I guess we can move on with with a new uh, with with another set of questions, and then when she comes back, she can we can circle back to her. Um, now that you're queens, now that you're crown queens, I I I feel and I I guess you agree that this has changed your life. But give us a give us a picture on how you were prior becoming a beauty queen. So, what were you doing? How was life like before becoming a uh, Miss Earth Elemental Queen? Let's start with. Uh, Queen Amira. Um, before becoming an elemental queen, I was very studious. I, I wouldn't say the same during online classes because that setup was very hard for me. But during face-to-face -face classes, I actually enjoyed school because I went to my dream school, USC. I loved eating wings with my friend, chicken wings, libot kami sa Espanya, ganon kain. And I also love playing games with my brother. I also love posting memes on Facebook, resharing them. Pero now, I don't na kasi syempre, focus na ako sa ano, pageant posting, ganon. Pero that was me before. I'm just like a normal teenager. And I think I still am. I just don't show it much on social media. All right. I agree with you. I mean, before, syempre, masayang mag di ba? Pero... Siyempre, as we move along and you have a crown, you have a responsibility yeah. and you have a brand. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, we're back to Queen Nela. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry again. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so, we are going to circle back to you and we're going to ask you the people that you wish to thank before we proceed with, with a question I posted um, late a after. So it's your it's your turn, Queen Nila. Please thank all the people who ran in behind you in this journey. Thank you so much. First of all, I would like to thank God as well as my family because they've been there for me from the start. They're my number one supporters and they always warm my heart from all their messages. I would like to thank my partner and his family and the Casa Merville girls as well as his friends and employees. I want to thank my friends of my mother's, my mom's church, mom she's, and all her friends from around the globe. Friends of my brothers, my relative, my cousins, my aunts, and all for all of the people who voted for me. And I want to thank my glam team, Mama Drew, Mama Ru, Dada, Tipi, and Riri. And Ma'am Elma from Iconic for sponsoring me for my hair and making me look good. I would like to thank my video team, the Rustic Stills, for Elroy, Steven, RJ, and Mark. And my KF family, Tito Raj, Tito Gio, Kuya Enan. And my Q&A trainers, JV and Pat. My social media manager, Linnell, and the entirety of Barangay Merville, from Doc Caballero, Ma'am Lot, Ma'am Wezi, and everyone in the barangay who support, supported me that I have not mentioned. In City Hall, Mayor Edwin Olivares, Coach Binky, Sir Buboy, Ma'am Jeline, Sir Chris, all of the Congress and SK, SKS committee, committee, and the entirety of Paranaque for being a part of my journey. For my fitness is Coach Bon for my workouts, Coach Elmer for my Muay Thai and Arnis, as well as for my teeth, Tutanis Dentals. And I would like to thank my stylist, which is Kenneth and Brasti, designers Louis Pangalinan, as well as Mark Pancio, my escort, Philip Magalona, and all my friends who supported me. You guys know who you are. I love you super dearly. I can't mention all of you guys because it's going to be a long list as well as my entire fan base. And I know a lot of you guys are watching right now. I just want you to know that I appreciate you so much. I hope you continue to support me along my journey to get the crown for Miss Earth International. So thank you guys so much. And my win is your win. So thank you guys. All right, thank you. All right, um, I'm very happy to see that you guys, um, you ladies rather, know who to thank them because it's very important. Um, yes, it's you who want the crown, but I guess you wouldn't, you can't deny the fact that people, a lot of people rallied behind you. People you don't know and people you know, of course, um, 
everyone had a contribution. So I guess it, it's just it's just fitting for for us to acknowledge. And if you want, you can download this video and then you can splice it to the part to the part that you that you are thanking the people who help you out, so that you can put it out on your social media platforms, um, and then so that they would know that they are being thanked. Of. I share the same the same sentiment with Tita of pageantry with Tita Lavinia that late that girls or queens should really take their time, go out of their way to thank uh, the people who help them with their journey. Um, so going back, nagita niya ako, hindi naman ako, hindi naman ako contesta. <laughs> um, let's go back to our to the question earlier. Um, let's move on to Queen Sophia. So how is life like, or describe to us who you were or who you are prior prior winning a crown? So I'm a homebody because I usually work from home because I have my own company. And I'm a night owl. Kaya hirap na hirap ako din ng umaga. I had to wake up at 6 a.m. just to do my own makeup. And that's a really big adjustment for me because as a night owl, I usually sleep at around 2 or 3 a.m. So that's me even before the pageant. I usually... Uh, sleep at those times because I usually am very productive ng mga ganong oras. So, uh, aside from that, I am very active din talaga in our site in Barangay Kayabo. We usually do our site visits there. So, some actually, before the pageant, I had a lot of bug bites on my leg because that's what I usually was before the pageant. Alright. Um, thank you. Uh, I just have a question. Yung video, yung sense of video mo, was it shot at Daralitan? Oh, yes. Yes. That was shot at the Tinipak River in Daralitan. Tinipak. All right. Okay. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Queen Rosel, how about you? How was life like prior to winning a crown? Or prior to winning the crown? Uh, yeah. So I'm graduating from grade 12. So I also have online classes. But aside from online classes, I remember staying up every night just to edit because we had uh, content to put out every week. So I was project head of that. And it was so stressful because I would not only write it, but I would also cast actors. I, was, I would also edit it. I would also write the captions for it. I would also be marketing it. So it was something that was like a one-man army, but I'm so glad because my friends in the theater group also helped me. And I guess I was striving so much in productivity that when I did have anything to do, I would feel so down. So I guess that explains what happened in the start of 2021 when I felt like I was a little lost. So I, I, I prayed a lot to God. I told him that I, I, kinda, I, kinda, I kinda feel lost. Help me navigate my way through. And he did. He kind of he gave me and handed me the opportunity to be a part of this routine series. All right, fantastic. Thank you. How about Queen Rani? Tell us more so, about this. So before pageants and beauty in life, I am actually a fashion designer and a blogger. So, bago ako naging busy dito, um, I was busy designing and sewing clothes myself and doing vlogs. Um, sharing my travels, my workout, and kung ano-ano man yung ginagawa kong kaartehan sa buhay. So I actually miss doing those things, and sana kapag um, nagkaroon ng free time, I get to sew again, because I really miss it. Namimiss ng kamay kong magtahe. Um, Doon kasi ako nakakapag-relax. So yeah, yun. Yun yung pinagkakaabalahan ko before um, the pageant. Alright, thank you. And of course, uh, Queen Nela. What was the question is how is life or what is your life like prior to winning uh, Miss Earth's Philippines? So my uh, my professional job on a day to day is I'm a freelance professional model. So I have a lot of photo shoots, uh, maybe twice, maximum five times a week. And I actually started working as a real estate agent right before I joined the pageant. So I had to put that on hold. And I also got my certification from Bond Fitness to become a meditation teacher. So all of those had to be put on halt for this pageant. And usually I would be playing a lot of different sports from uh, kiteboarding, longboarding, aerial, chair dancing, uh, golf, a lot of things. And uh, what else would I be doing? 
yeah, I think those are the, the basic things I'll be doing before joining the pageant. All right, thank you. My next question to everyone is now that the pageant is over, how do you plan to make up for the lost time? Maybe, maybe with your loved one, with your partner, with your boyfriend, or with your family? Let's begin with Queen Nela. Excuse me, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I breaking in and out again? A little bit, just a little bit. Okay. So my question is, how do you plan to make up for the lost time? Hopefully, if by the time we're done with this pageant and I already I'm done with the rain, it won't be the pandemic anymore. So I can go out and travel with my family and the people that I love and spend quality time that's not social distancing with them. So that's the way that I would uh, uh, enjoy it after the pageant. Thank you. Let's move on to Queen Ronnie. So how do you plan to make up for the lost times? So yeah, hopefully after this pandemic or kapag mas safe na and after all our busy schedule, I really want to treat my family. Kung pwede kami mag staycation somewhere, I just want to spend some time with them. Like no cell phones, no social media, talagang quality time lang with one another. Thank you. Queen Roselle, how about you? Uh, Queen Roselle, I think you're on mute. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Okay, oh, thank I you. Thank you, Tyre. <laughs> I said, I don't think that there was last time. Instead, I think it brought me closer to my family, this pageant, and to my friends. Because I met so many new people. I, I even, I was like always stuck in my room before the pageant because I was just working and working. So, when the public came, I, I had to socialize more. I had to talk to my friends, my family more. So instead of like making up for lost time, I want to make more memories with them instead. Antaray, it's a good one. Thank you, Queen Rosel. How about uh, Queen Sophia? How about you? How do you plan to make up for the lost time? Mm, I'm not sure yet when I will be able to make up for lost time, but you know, because you know of the uh, limitations, the restrictions brought about by the lockdown. Uh, but I definitely do want to bring them to my campsite once it's done. I'm I'm actually targeting by the end of the year we will be able to open. So I it would be really a big honor for me to bring my family over there and see a tangible uh, source of pride for them. Okay, thank you. And finally, we have Namira. What's your plan? Um, I think I would want to go on a proper outing with my team here in Atimonan because usually when we went out to boost our morale kasi we were so tired from all the shoots, there was a shoot pa sa gabi ng MPE, so hinahabol namin. So I want us to be able to enjoy. I don't know when yet because the schedule is very tight and the pandemic and everything and aside from that i also want to bring my mom and my brother to a resort somewhere or sana out of the country by next year para we can also um have our quality time together just like before okay thank you let's um review your uh, activities in this earth so could you tell us uh briefly what was your most favorite activity and what was your most difficult activity that you that you had to uh, go through. Let's begin with Queen Amira. My most favorite, I think I have two. So my most favorite is the beauty of face because we actually traveled outside of Atimonan. We went to Dolores Quezon and it was such a beautiful location. So I had my beauty of face there and also the swimsuit for the finals because we went to Lokban naman, Lokban Quezon. So I was able to explore Mount Banahaw and also the resorts there. The most difficult for me um, is actually the long gown for the pre-pageant because I had only prepared a gown for the finals. And so the gown for the pre-pageant was kind of a backup gown, parang medyo nag-favor kami sa designer ko for the finals gown. So thank you, Tito Jojo. And the gown was too long for me because the person who wore it before was very, very tall. So hirap na hirap ako, but I was so thankful for the gold medal for the long gown kaya super nagulat talaga ako doon. And that was the hardest talaga, but it was very worth it. 
Thank you. All right, let's move on to Queen Sophia. My Desert. most favorite, lagi ko nang sasabihin, my most favorite would be the Echo video. It was written and directed by me. So the concept of it being a documentary of grounding people with me in Tanay, that really was my vision to show them the reality of ecotourism. It's not always beautiful. It has its rough cuts, kumbaga. So I really love Echo video and how it turned out. Um, the most difficult would be, I think, the sportswear competition because um, I do climb mountains, but wall climbing is a little bit harder because the the stones are very small. So ang sakit sakit sa nails ko nun, It was really an effort to get a good shot. Na tuloy tuloy yung akit ko because a lot of times I would actually um I would actually fall. So since nasalul lang ng rope, which is you know. Hindi siya magandang tingnan talaga sa, sa camera. But I was able to get a lot of shots din naman. Natuloy-tuloy yung pag-climb ko, even though mas hard. Okay, thank you. Pinurcel, it's your turn. So my favorite part was really the eco video as well. Because that's where I learned and grew the most. Because there's a lot of traveling and advocacy work. So I visited my communities. I made new connections. But... The most difficult for me was actually the talent portion because it was only one take and I had to paint the gown while I was performing. So we started at around 11 p.m. and ended at around 3 a.m. because it was taking me a long time to really memorize my lines because I think I only memorized in a span of one to two days that whole poem. <laughs> okay, thank you. Queen Ronnie, how about you? It would have to be the finals evening gown because my mom was there with me. Uh, my mom lives in San Francisco and she came home just for the pageant. So she was there and then after shooting the long gown, we shoot kami together, we both wore gowns. Um, drama, drama, kami dun, arte, arte kami. So it was really a fun moment for me and um, Yun, kahit na medyo naging busy ako, I was happy that she was there with me and we got to spend um, a, quick, a quick quality time together. All right, thank you. And of course, Queen Nela, how about you? My favorite moment would also be the eco video. I really enjoyed and seeing all the different places within Paranyake. It was quite educational. But at the same time, it was also very difficult because the videographer did it... Uh, he didn't message me for a while when I was requesting for it. So that would also be the most difficult for me because when he sent it, he sent it a bit too long. So I needed to submit it as mm. soon as possible. So me and my partner spent seven hours straight writing a script and re-editing the entire video ourselves. And uh, it's, good, it's good and bad at the same time, but I had a bonding moment and it was very lovely. Wow. So... It's like a, a, an event that has become a serendipitous moment for you because it's like you're able you have to do things on your own, learn things, learn the new skill perhaps, and and uh, was a bonding moment with, with you and your and your partner. So that's very yeah. interesting. Thank you. <laughs> um, my next question to you girls is this: I mean, it's a pandemic. People are suffering through mental health problems or mental health issues, at the very least. Was there ever a time in your pageant journey that you almost wanted to give up and um, what was that point and how did you overcome it? Feeling ko nagkakatkat na naman ako. Was there ever a time that you wanted girls to, to give up during this pageant journey? Um, and how, what was that? Tell us more about it and how did you overcome that situation? Who's going to ask Ronnie, how about you? Um, no, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say or I'm um, going to stress. But I'm going to point that I'm going to say that I'm never going to say that I'm 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 going how about you, Queen uh, Nila? How about you? Was there a, ever a point where you wanted to, to give up? 
Yeah, so I was actually having a lot of difficulties. Um, I had family problems at the same time. It was financially draining because I had to put a lot of the money out of my own pocket. I also had a moment where my sponsor dropped. So it was uh, very difficult for me, but I stick through it and I'm very happy that I did. All right, and it paid off. <laughs> Your Miss Philippines Earth 2021. Again, congratulations. Thank you. How about Queen Sophia? Queen Sophia, how about you? Did you experience the same? What was there a point where you wanted to give up? Yeah, I agree with the both of them, with Anila and Ronnie. Um, there wasn't a time that I wanted to give up, but there was time when I had, uh, with I really doubted myself when I had a lot of insecurities, and that was a time right after uh, I think the last deadline that we. Uh, that we did so our last day i think was july 4. so imagine how many weeks that was before the coronation day it was almost four weeks actually one month so because we had we had no activities and because we have very few live streams in between i really you know it really sunk in the the demands of the pageant and that was the time when i really had you know time to think about the pressure that is on my shoulders and yeah i think this it's a lot it's a grueling one month wait before the coronation but it, it, it was very worth it okay thank you i'm glad that you soldier soldiered on through let's have queen roselle how about you can do you have uh, something that you can share i thought the start I was really determined to make Iloilo City proud. But then I guess with the amount of time that we were spending in the pageant, I guess you get tired too. And seeing all the hot pics and the doubtful comments to the people around you, from the people around you, you also start to doubt yourself too. But then you have to remember your reason for joining the pageant. And for me, it was really to learn, to really to grow. And I said that if I, I gave up now if I backed out now because I was really going to back out. I was crying to my mom, I was telling her, na, Ma, I'll do anything. I'll even pay you for all your expenses in the future. Just let me back out. But she was telling me, no, because I think that you have, she like, really felt it in her heart. She said that, I know that this journey has more in store for you. So just sit it out. I'll cry if you have to, but press on. So I did. And fortunately, I'm with my queen sisters now. <laughs> All right. I'm very happy for you. And as they say, mothers know best. So I'm glad you listened to your mom. And um, Queen Amira, how about you? Uh, I, I didn't really have a point where I wanted to give up, but there are definitely multiple times where I cried after events, like for example, the meet the press or other pre-pageant events because I felt like I wasn't doing enough. Or it's more on self-doubt and me just um, making myself a punching bag and I felt like I wasn't good enough. But I never wanted to give up because from the start, pa lang, I really, really wanted it and I wanted to make Atimonan proud and I wanted to make my team proud, especially in our mayor because they gave me so much support and I feel like I owe it to them to give back. and. I'm so, so glad that I just cried it out whenever I was tired because I'm here now and I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, and, and it shows. Um, I'm really happy that you are happy. Um, let's pretend that I have the power to bring you back uh, time travel and I will bring you back to the day that you're filling out your application form. What would you tell to your old self without spilling the beans on what crown you're going to win? Okay. Malino yung question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for for Nela, I will take you back to the day wherein you're going to fill out your application form to Miss Philippines Earth. What would you tell to yourself back then without spilling the beans that you won? But how would you, what would you tell yourself 
if you're given the chance to go back to the time that you're filling out or you decided to fill out the form. Would you like me to answer this now? Yes, yes, go ahead, please. The floor is yours. So, I would tell myself to calm down, uh, don't worry too much, enjoy the journey because this is your time to shine and show the world. Because I, I had a lot of doubt, like I said, I didn't want to give up, but uh, I had to fight it within myself. So if I had a message to myself, it would be calm down, it's gonna be okay. All right, thank you. Let's move on to Queen Rani. What would be your message to yourself if? you were given the chance to travel to the time that you're filling out your application form? Um, siguro I would tell myself na you're going on the right track and don't be afraid. Um, I know you get um, insecure sometimes, but always believe in yourself and don't lose hope. Um, kaya mo yan. <laughs> okay. Thank you. How about Queen Rosel? How about you? Uh, you'd think that I would give myself tips or advices to help me uh, get to where I am today. But I don't think I would because I'd let her go through what I went through as, as well so that she'd grow. Does that make me a sadist, a masochist? I don't know. <laughs> but I wouldn't give her that advice or tips because I'll just tell her that you'll be okay. You'll be okay. <laughs> All right. How about you, Queen Sophia? I would also tell myself that I'm on the right track. I agree with Ronnie. Um, everything that I was answering on that application form, it actually really led me to the title that I have right now. But besides that, if there is only one that I can give myself, I would tell myself on July 3, your photo shoot or your video shoot will actually be canceled because of the rain. So please don't go. <laughs> don't waste your time. <laughs> All right, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's a cool answer. I like it. Uh, how about Queen Amira? How about you? Uh, so quick backstory lang. So I really wanted to join, but when I was given the application form, I was putting it out for days. Like I wasn't filling it up because I was uh, the, the doubt started coming in. So I think I left it for a week before answering, and I was. Sorry to my handler. I was lying to my handler na parang, oh yeah, I'm on it. Pero talaga hindi ko pa siya finifill upon because I'm scared. So I would tell myself na even if you feel like you're not ready, you actually are. And you will find determination like never before once the competition actually starts. And you'll even surprise yourself by who you become after. All right. Wow. That's a good takeaway. So... After all the things you've been through, after all the, the, the tears, the hard work, the pagod, can you say that it's all worth it now that you have your respective crowns? All right. So I'm, I'm happy. Kasi talagang pinaghirapan nyo yun eh. I mean, it's really blood, sweat, and tears that you had to shed to, to get where you are right now. So we really admire you. And we really congratulate you for, for, for achieving such feat. My next question to you, ladies, would be: It's a virtual pageant, and you experienced it firsthand. Um, give us an idea what happens inside a virtual pageant. Something interesting that uh, we don't know that you would like to share with us. Yung parang agan to pala to sa virtual pageant, or parang the parang how was the pacing like? How the chaos behind the, the the method behind the madness? How was it? How was the overall experience doing it in a virtual environment? Who would like to go Can first? Yes, Queen Ronnie, go ahead. Um, pina comment ko, I'm so sorry, pero ang gastos, sobrang gastos ng virtual pageant, and um, I didn't expect it at first. But then, yeah, it was very shocking how much na yung gastos because I had to use my money. And when we were computing for everything na, tapos hindi pa tapos yung pageant, parang ako, ha? Sino ka? Mayaman ka, girl? I was like, no, hindi ito tama. But then, you know, sabi ko, I think it's gonna be for a greater cost naman. And, you know, money comes and goes. I will have time now in the future to, to you know, na mabawi ko yung mga nawala sa akin. Well, right now, ang dami ko namang nag-gain. Kahit na sabihin ko, ang dami kong nag -gasto. So, yeah, it was worth it. But then, ang gasto. So, if sasali kayo ng virtual pageant, 
mag-save na kayo ngayon. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And I'm, I'm happy, uh, Queen Ronnie, that you're talking about the candidate because I think Queen Nayla mentioned that as well. I mean, beauty pageants right now, you have to shell out money. Unless you have sponsors, you would really have to have money and, and, and the financial support to get you through. Um, I guess everyone would agree. How about the rest? Um, what is your takeaway from the virtual pageant? Let's put it that way. Queen Amira, are you ready? Can you share us something? Yeah. So um, if others think that it only takes one shoot, one day, and um, not multiple reshoots, they are wrong. Because sometimes it would take us two days to shoot a single um, a single segment because we had to reshoot some stuff. And then you aangulahan mo pa yung body mo, yung face mo. Because sometimes you'd think a shot is nice. Tapos you would watch it, tapos ang pangit pala. So you need to fix everything. So I think that was the hardest part. And also... Um, my team is very solid, I know that. Pero with the hours that we spend with each other in a day, tapos pagod na, gutom na, hindi maiwasan yung nagkakainisan or tahimik na lahat, hindi na nag-uusap. So I think that was most of the challenges that other people don't know. But otherwise, kapag nakuha niyo na yung perfect shot, you'll have a great output. So let's um, Queen Sophia, how about you? Yeah, I totally agree with Amira as well. Um, there were times talaga that a shoot goes for so long and um, sometimes my feet hurt tremendously. So there was actually this time, um, we went to Tinipak, uh, to Tinipak River in the morning. So we shot both the preliminary and the final swims there because I, I had a, a walk on water concept. So we had acrylic, an acrylic platform on the river. So I was walking there for six hours, I think. So my feet are wet, my heels are wet. And then I think five hours later, we were shooting my preliminary long down competition. And my um, the heels are still wet, actually, by that time. So my feet was really hurting. I, I was almost getting cramps. And... You know, I agree with Amira as well. Na hindi, it doesn't take just one shoot because sometimes, again, with a with a financially demanding situation, sometimes you really have to budget your time so that you can get a lot more done within the day. So that they really did three competitions so that we can you know, maximize our time and budget. Okay, thank you. Um... And Queen Nela, of course. Uh, I think you're on mute. My apologies. So when I started the okay. pageant, I thought it would be a lot easier and it wouldn't be as financially draining because you can shoot it anywhere, even in your own barangay. And then as the pageant went on, I realized it was the complete opposite. It was more financially draining. You actually had to put more work in than the usual pageant because when you go to a pageant, you just you go to the venue and then you get ready there. But this one, you have to get ready with your entire team. You have to make sure everything's aligned. So it's more emotionally consuming as well. But in the end of the day, it, I quite enjoyed my journey here because it was a different take on pageantry because we always know the traditional way. And now me and all of the candidates as well as the girls here experience it virtually. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Queen Rosel, have I asked you the question already? Not yet. It's your turn. Yeah, I, okay. yeah, I agree with Amira and Sophia that it takes a long time and it's also really draining. It's more draining than an actual life pattern based on experience. And I think the difference is the amount of time you spend in the pageant as well. Because for me, uh, live pageants, parang you train for a certain amount of time. Kodong big guys is isang day. Tapos pre pageant is isang day. Finals night is isang day. Pero in a live, eh, in a live, in a virtual pageant, pala, it's hinahati hati into segments. So ito, you have to really prepare for it, train for it, and then prepare, train for this, and then prepare, train for that, and then prepare. So it takes a lot of energy, but you know we pre we push through. <laughs> okay, you know, man, yung importante you you girls all push through, and here you are. 
We are talking with you because you are the new face. Now let's address the, the white elephant in the room. Um, it's resonating that um, joining pageants really entails financial support. So for those who would like to join pageants, what are your best practices or what are your tips so that they can pull funds or get sponsorships to get them through the whole pageant journey? Malinaw yung tanong ko. Okay. Tips lang. No need to give very complete answers. Parang tips lang. What do you think are the best ways to... Yes, Queen Nela, go ahead. Um, One tip I can give is try to collaborate with a lot of designers instead of buying your own gowns. Because when you buy your own gowns, it's going to be a little bit too expensive. So try to reach out if you can't afford it. And don't... Don't sweat it too much. I mean, I, I think the designers would help you as much as possible. And try to represent your city by getting a t designer from your city. So that would be my tip. Okay. Thank you, Queen Nela. How about Queen Ronnie? Gusto ko sana pakinggan yung tips ni... Oh, okay na. Sabi ko, dito ko na yung happen sa part na to. So gusto ko sana pakinggan yung tips nila. Kasi ako, hindi ako masyado nakakuha ng sponsorship. Kaya sobrang... Naging mahirap sa akin yung buong journey. Pakinggan ko na lang sila. <laughs> okay, sige, sige. Walang problema. Thank you for being honest. I appreciate your candor. Uh, let's move on to, to Queen Roselle. How about you? Uh, honestly, it was also hard to get sponsorships. But then you really need to socialize and build strong connections para they could sponsor you. So... Dapat di ka shy. You have to, to swallow that shy and really talk to people out there and ask for help, especially sa LGU mo, even organizations or businesses out there who could really help you. All right. Thank you. How about Queen Sophia? Yeah. Being a former associate, uh, uh, associate financial planner, I forgot my title. Being a former associate financial planner before, um, what I can advise uh, aspiring beauty queens is firstly to uh, start with yourself, with your emergency fund. First, you have to have a stable source of income. If not income, at least a source of funds, like for example, your parents. Um, start with that because even though you might have sponsors, like for example, designers who are willing to uh, give you their creations, there might be other monetary sponsors as well. But there are a lot of incidental costs that you might underestimate. Like, for example, um, I didn't really see it coming, but the food for the team costs a lot because, you know, it's breakfast, lunch, dinner sometimes, or it's lunch and dinner. It's very, very heavy on the pocket. So I'm telling you, start with yourself. Go get yourself, uh, build yourself an emergency fund so that... Aside from the emergency fund, another savings fund for your beauty pageant because it will really take a lot. Okay. Thank you. And Queen Namira, how about you? Yeah, I actually agree about the food grab because I have like 15 to 20 people in my team every shoot. So talagang dun na punta lahat ng budget ko. So thankfully for me kasi our mayor was the one who offered me the budget. So I'm very, very thankful. So my tip would be is to Try to contact your mayor. You tell them what your plan is, your advocacy is. Because if they really want to put their town on the map, I think some would help. It depends talaga on the person. And yes, the designers build your connections. They are nice enough if you're there in your city. And also, try to connect with a lot of tourism officers in different towns, especially if you want to shoot in. Kunyari, ako lumabas ako ng Atimonan. So... Thankfully, we were close with a lot of tourism officers. So yung mga resorts, they were discounted if not free. So that is very, very important. Build your connections and don't break them. All right. Thank you. Little kids are little girls and little boys like to follow your footsteps in the future. So having, making it there and getting a crown 
what would be your tips to little boys and little girls um, who want to be beauty queens in the future? Let's start with Queen Ronnie. Um, uh, like what I always tell myself, I'm not really emotional. I'm so sorry. Um, like what I always tell myself, na man, na just always believe in yourself. Yun lang din yung gusto ko sabihin sa kanila. Because at the end of the day, um, ikaw lang din yung talagang makakatulong sa iyo at makakapagbigay sa iyo ng lakas na magpatuloy sa kung ano man yung gusto mong makamit sa buhay. So never doubt yourself and just always have faith and you know, you will go a long way. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Queen Rosel, how about you? Yeah, I think I if I were like to talk to myself in the past cuz I also wanted to be a beauty queen or some someone just successful. So I tell these little boys or girls in pageants that they should really get their, themselves out there. I know that you might be shy, but getting yourself out there and speaking whatever it is you want into existence, it really works. The, manis, the manis, manifestations, the law of attraction, if you want it and if you work hard for it and if you pray for it, you can really achieve what it is that you want. Okay. Thank you. How about Queen Sophia? What is your uh, tip to little boys and little girls who want to follow your footsteps? Well, as a practical person myself, I would tell them to look at what their goal is and identify the steps on how to get there. So I guess at a very young age, what you can start with is um, practicing, for example, your posture because that really takes a long time to master. You know, start with little steps and you will eventually get to your goal. Okay, thank you. Short and sweet. How about Queen Amira? Adding on, adding on to what uh, Ate Ronnie said, so I got this from Queen Nins, who is my Q&A mentor. Doubt whom you will, but never yourself. Because it, it is you who will take yourself place it. It is you who will achieve all of your goals. And no matter how much the people around you encourage you, if you don't want something, then you'll always give up on it. So make sure you want it. And always, always believe in yourself. You are the key to achieving your own goals. Thank you. And of course, our queen, Nela, what is your um, message to people or kids, young boys and young girls who want to follow your footsteps? I hope uh, my message to them is that I, I hope they understand that they're ever progressing people. They're always going to learn something new. And as they join the pageant, it's going to change who they are in terms of the grand scheme of things in life. So I hope they don't get too hard on themselves before you start the pageant. Write yourself a self affirmation. Look at it. Read why you started. So when you feel sad in the middle of the pageant, go back to that note and know why you were there to begin with. And uh, I hope you know that it's always just a learning lesson. At the end of the day, it's either you win or you learn. Perfect. I love it. Um, I want to just zero in on you, Nela, because I be, um, originally I wanted to ask if you're given the chance to, to redo your answers, how would you do it? But I guess, I mean, it, it doesn't apply anymore because you are there because of your answers. There is no point to that. But my question to you is, um, as you prepare for a bigger stage, a bigger a more international pageant, which which is Miss Earth. How are your how are you preparing? And uh, what's your game plan without revealing too much and spilling the beans? Me and my team, our game plan is basically to try to represent the Philippines as much as possible. This is not just for myself as Nela Sherbaji, but I am Miss Philippines Earth. So I want to talk to many other people and know how I could represent it the best way that I can. And I hope that th that will get me far in the long run. Okay. All right. Which brings me to um, my, my next question is, or my final question is, for, for the other elemental queens, um, what would be your message of support Queen Nela, as she soldiers on and she carries the Philippine flag to the Miss Earth International stage. Let's begin with Miss uh, with, with Queen Ronnie. I actually, <laughs> um, actually, ko si sa Instagram, and you know, I'm really rooting for her. And ngayon pala, she's already our Miss Earth 
I know how great she is and she's going to do well. Um, alam ni Nayla, she's very confident, she's very brilliant. So, kaya mo yan, Nayla. Nandito kami lahat para sa iyo. It's so sweet. Thank you. How about Queen Roselle? Yeah, same here. Nayla gave us a message kanina and I just woke up from a nap and then I started, I almost started crying but I have my makeup on. So, I did tell her that we've always been here for her no matter what happens and as long as she has her heart on her sleeve and her feet on the earth, she'll win the crown for sure. <laughs> How about Queen Sophia? What's your message for Queen Nela? Nela, you're a queen. <laughs> This is the crown and you're a queen, capital K-W-E-E-N, that's you. I love your confidence, I love your beauty. I mean, we cannot ask for a better representative for the Philippines. We all believe in your capacity and we're just here anytime you need us, whatever you need. Venues, for example, we're just here to help you and... Ako yung na speechless, di ba? I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm, I'm proud that you are our queen. I, I feel like we're gonna get our fifth Miss Earth crown. All right, I agree. <laughs> How about Queen Amira? What's your message for Queen Amira? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we were chatting then kanina on Messenger. The first time. I saw Nela that she was joining Miss Philippines Earth. The first thing I thought was, this girl is going to give me the fight of my life. <laughs> That's how she made me feel. And I feel like the other girls in the international competition will feel that from her because she's such a, you are such a well-rounded woman. And I know how much you wanted Miss Philippines Earth because you have expressed that on every interview you have. And we believe in you so, so much. And I'm glad to have you as our Miss Philippines Earth. Very, very honestly, I'm glad. And we are always going to be here whenever you want to rant or you want to cry and things you can't share to your team or the other people around you. We are here, I swear. We'll be here for life. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy that I get to have all of you by my side. Honestly, I've actually looked at every single one of you during my journey. And then I, I looked at every one of you and I saw so much potential and so many amazing things. And I can't wait to learn all of these things from each and one of you. I know that you have amazing strength and I'm so excited for what's going to happen. So thank you guys. Thank you for supporting me. So much love. We love you so much. We love you, girls. What a best thank you for way the to... Moment, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What a best way to, to wrap this conversation where we, we show our love, we, we, we shower Nayla with our love, with our support, and the guarantee of telling her, like, girl, you got this, girl. Go get the crown for the Philippines. So, Nayla, what will be your final message to everyone? And um, let's, now that you've given, I believe you've already given your message to, to your queen, to your queen sisters. What is your message to everyone, to every Filipino who's watching right now? Um, and yeah, that's it. What's your message to everybody? My message to everybody would be to understand each other and be empathetic. This is a time that everyone's in, in a pandemic, so we're all having a hard time. So we need to be there for each other, hold each other's hand. When it, when it's when it's a moment where it's very difficult, all we have is each other. So let's just bring unity towards our community. And as a Miss Earth, I just want to say, let's be a part of the solution rather than the pollution. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Complete this. I'm going to do a boy abunda moment. Um, complete the statement, um, Nela. I am Nela, and you're like, I don't want to butcher your last name. I'm sorry. I am Nela, and I am dot dot dot. I am Nela Shurbaji, and I've said this before. I'm Nela Shurbaji, and I'm home, I, I am a woman for change. Thank you so much. Ladies, thank you so much for going out of your way. I know you haven't slept yet, and you haven't had decent food, but you went out of your way to go with us here in Sash Factor, put on makeup, put dress to the nines, and show us your best selves. So on behalf of Sash Factor and our um, Lightroom director Andy Kane, I would like to thank you everyone. We're to say, girls, we love you and thank you for giving it your all. And we wish you the best in your future endeavors. And Nela, may you win 
the next Miss of uh, Miss Earth Crown for the Philippines. So, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Sash Factor, um, um, again, my name is Carl Capelan, and I would like to thank everyone who joined us this afternoon in our live uh, Sash Factor Live series. I want to say thank you to everyone and have a great day. Thanks, ladies. Thank